guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Louisa. For those of you who remember me, you guys probably remember me by Lucky Mary Jane. Hello. Um, so today I wanted to just do a sit down, get ready with me and talk to you guys about where I've been, what I've been doing and where have I been all these years, man? Like I've done a couple pop-ups here and there, but nothing too consistent. So I hope you guys enjoy this video of me talking for a very long time while getting ready. And hopefully you guys stick around for more content. So, so I know I already did my foundation and my eyebrows, but it's because I can't like talk and do my eyebrows at the same time. So I did those off camera real quick. Um, mm, I am still obsessed with coffee. For those of you who know my addiction from past videos, the past couple of years, um, I started YouTube, I think when I was, I want to say I was fresh out of high school, so in between 18 and 21, I started YouTube. I think I check for sure when I started, but it was like around that time. I think it was like six years ago, so yeah, I was like 20. I was like hardcore into it like I was doing it man like I loved it I love doing YouTube it's been so long since I've done like a consistent like video I think I've done a couple pop-ups like welcome back type videos and I end up putting them on private because like I don't stay consistent with my YouTube um, I don't consider my, my little pop-up thrift videos like me coming back because like like I said they're not consistent so I told myself like of course like I love YouTube and I love doing it it's so fun and I just personally love it I love doing it and I told myself like if I'm gonna do YouTube again like which eventually I want to in the future and this year that was one of my goals um, to start it up again so I told myself I'm gonna be consistent with it like it's not gonna be like one video a year you know because I think last year I put out, no, it wasn't even last year. I think it was a year before that. I put out two videos and they were like thrift videos and they were cool and I was super excited and happy, but then I'm like, I stopped. So um, I'm officially gonna start doing YouTube again. I'm hoping to be posting at least once a week, twice as, at most, but I think I'm gonna stick to once a week just, to, I, just so I can get into the rhythm of doing YouTube again. Um, where have I been? So, the last time you guys like officially saw me consistently, I had pink hair. I think I was fresh out of high school and I was going to college. I was thrifting a lot. I was living with my parents or my mom, I should say, my grandma. And now, I don't have pink hair. Don't thrift as excessive, um, and I'll tell you guys that right now. And I don't live with my mom, and I don't have pink hair. Did I already say that? So now I'm 26 years old. I'm an old fart. I feel like after you turn 20, like after 25, like it just goes by so fast. And then next thing you know, you're gonna be 30. So I'm almost 30 years old, four more years. Like it doesn't seem like, like a long time from now, but it's gonna come when I least expect it. It's gonna be like, boom, bitch, you're 30. <laughs> but yeah, I'm 26 years old now. I'm married. I'm happily, happily married. Fun. 
fun, she's so funny, she has the cutest personality, and she's an overall good baby. Like, she's not a crybaby. She's so chill. She's been chill since the minute she was born. She's just like an awesome child. I am so blessed to have my family. Um, so yeah, and I ended up not finishing school for mortuary. Um, I was supposed to transfer out to, I think it was LA, Cypress College. And I physically, like mentally put myself in that position like, Am I gonna be happy out there? Is this what I really want to do for a living? Um, you know, all these things went through my mind, and I just stopped going to school. I think I took like a good year break, and I started going to school for hair. So I am officially a hairstylist. I've been officially licensed for I think over. I think I've been licensed for two and a half years now. Um, I assisted for a year and a half, which if you guys don't know what that means, I was just uh, another hairstylist assistant. She's been in the industry for I think like 16 years or something like that. I loved being an assistant. If you guys are going to school to be a hairstylist, I would 100% recommend being an assistant the minute you get out of school because you learn so much from someone who's been in the industry for so many years. And they might not be up to speed with like a lot of newer trends like balayage and stuff like that but they teach you how to color and do all these things techniques that they don't show you in school so I feel like that really helps y'all because I feel like beauty school in general the one I went to only shows you and tells you what to do to pass state board as to where like being an assistant teaches you how to be a hairstylist you know like physically showing you how to be a hairstylist and in beauty school like i said like you just get taught how to like pass state board and the regulations and safety procedures and all that good stuff which is awesome yeah you need to know those things too and i would recommend you not to forget those things either but definitely assist when you get out of school guys it's the best thing ever um Let's see, so I'm married, I have a baby, I have my career. Um, during beauty school, I actually got a job at the beauty supply store, which um, I've been there for three and a half years. I actually just put in my notice and my last day, I think was last week. I didn't even get to show up on my last day of work because of this whole quarantine thing going on. Um, so yeah, I learned so much there and I love education obviously for hair. So I got the opportunity to be a beauty guru within the company, which were actually incorporated by L'Oreal, which is pretty awesome. Um, that was honestly the best, one of the best times ever. I, I learned so much, like I can't even complain. I would <clears throat> take free classes, I would um, get cool product all the time for me to try out. So I did that for three and a half years and like I said, I absolutely loved it. And um, I told myself it was time for me to move on um, because as much as I loved being there and I loved the environment that I was working in, it just wasn't something that I wanted to be comfortable in doing. I wanted to grow as a hairstylist. I wanted to do more with my life. <clears throat> I, I think it sounds stupid to some people, but to me, like, I felt like I wanted to commit to YouTube. Like, I wanted to commit to YouTube. I wanted to commit to selling my clothes um, and do future projects, which I don't want to mention right now. But um, I just wanted to, I wanted all, all these things. Like, I wasn't ready to just settle down and, like, just be at a job, you know? Like, I love doing hair so I like that that gives me the opportunity to like do that anywhere and sorry my face looks so freaking white I hate this stupid foundation it makes me so mad I promise I won't look that white after because I bronzed the crap out of my face um what's it called if you guys know of any good foundation I think I'm honestly just gonna go back to my L'Oreal one I've been using that one since high school the infallible but then um Oh, it's called Ulta came out with the Revolution makeup, which I absolutely love because it's all vegan. Um, well, I think I don't want to say.
say it's all vegan, but I know the foundation is vegan for sure. And I love it. Like, I love the consistency. I like the coverage, whatever. But I can never find a perfect shade. So, I had this shade, the 10.5. And it was, like, too dark for me. So then I got a 9. Like, a shade lighter. And now I feel like it's too light. So then I mixed them both. And they're just, like, like I'm... Like, I feel like a lot of foundations are pink undertones, and I'm a yellow undertone, so I can never find, like, the perfect foundation. So if you guys know of any the foundation, comment that below, please. Because then I won't have to bronze my face as much to look darker. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I wanted to commit to YouTube, so I want to do this, like, legit. And, um, what's it called? I think last year okay so when I first moved in with my husband I literally I kid you not I would go thrift store shopping like three to four times a week it was so bad but at the time like it we were like I feel like we were so young like we had it so easy like my husband and I both worked like decent jobs like we both have decent jobs and we live in a three three bedroom house and like we didn't have anything else to spend our money on like we were like either going to the thrift stores or like buying alcohol to be honest like we went through like our wine phase so <laughs> yeah that was pretty cool um and like i said we didn't have anything to worry about so it was like other than like you know we had to pay rent which we've always been really responsible with that and um so I would literally go to the thrift store like three to four times a week. And then once we had the baby, I felt like we needed obviously more room. Even though we had like rooms obviously in our house, like I needed room. I feel like my closet was like suffocating me. Sorry, I need to put blush on. I felt like my closet was like suffocating me and like not even like in a bad way, but I felt like I had a lot of clothes that I just didn't wear anymore. So I think um, the baby was born in July. I think right after the baby was born, I like started like taking clothes out of my closet. So I started decluttering and doing all that good stuff. And I loved it. Like I loved decluttering. I took out a lot of clothes and it just sat there for like six months until like I actually started selling my clothes. So I decluttered my closet and like I said, it was sitting there for like six months and then my husband told me like, I think in January, because I was like, I made a deep pop, I think in November, September of last year, excuse me, and um, my husband's like, babe, like if you don't like get rid of this clothes, I'm going to just drop it off at Goodwill. And I was like, my clothes is not worthy of Goodwill, like I can't, like I am so... I feel like I'm so emotionally attached to every piece of clothing and it might sound stupid but for people who like are into shopping stuff you guys will get this like there's just like pieces of like that have like either a memory or like you're like oh my god I remember when I bought this where I bought it how much it costs like that's how I am and I just did not want to get rid of my clothes and I told myself okay I'm gonna do it next year like it's gonna be one of my goals so then January came around and boom started selling my clothes on Depop and um that's like my main source. I usually always post on Depop first. And then um, I always also post on Mercari. And then I think starting today, I'm going to start posting on Poshmark. I posted on Poshmark in the past before I started doing Mercari. But um, I feel like Poshmark is a little bit more for um, those like more like mature like moms and stuff. So my mom actually gave me a bunch of her clothes to sell. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and I, I love doing it. It's so fun. And I love taking pictures for my product. I love talking to everybody on there. It's so nice. Everyone who's purchased my clothes is so sweet. And I always throw in a little gift for those who want to purchase. Um, right now I actually don't have any gift of purchases. So I've just been giving everyone coupons to come back and shop. Which is really smart too. Um, I know this might seem like a lot of bronzer, but I promise you it's not even enough. 
so yeah, I started selling on Depop, so that's something I've started committing to this year, and I, abs I absolutely love it. So far, I've only been selling my own personal clothing, which I still have so much of it, but um, if I do want to, if obviously I'm going to run out of that clothes eventually, you know, I would love to do, um, I would love to resell. I think it's like awesome because I know I could find good pieces for a really cheap price. And I feel like I would still sell them for cheap so people would appreciate it, you know? Um, so yeah, that's one of the goals. And of course, I would still continue doing like thrift hauls. I don't think I would do any vlogs because I'm honestly not that interesting. I don't really go anywhere cool anymore. Um, like I said, I'm a mom, so I pretty much stay home and I just go to work and that's it. Um, on my eye and then I'll do just like my wing liner and I still wear my red lipstick and yeah like I'm really basic still on my face I did go through my phase where like I was wearing like crazy colorful makeup like you know experimenting and all but yeah I grew out of that thing So it's like, except for the 30s, I don't really, mm, I think 30s is like the only era I don't really like care for. But other than that, like I love dressing anything in between that. So I feel like I'm just such a creative person in general that I can't just stick to one specific style. I like just my love for vintage in general. But I also like that one day I can just wake up and be like, you know what, I'm just going to wear jeans, a t-shirt, and some Cortezes and like throw on some gold hoops, you know, like a classic and I feel like that's how I would define my style now honestly so I kind of went off camera to do like the rest of my lashes and my lips um so yeah guys that's the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed it I know it's something too crazy and it's kind of boring just sitting here listening to me talk but I didn't want to just jump into YouTube and make like a 
video like, hey, here's a thrift haul. Like, I wanted to like come back and just kind of like do a sit down, like get ready with me, like I said, and just talk to you guys so you guys can know where I've been, what I've been doing. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for more coming soon. I can't wait to make more videos. I'm literally so excited. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys like and subscribe. Uh, I will still be doing hair tutorials. I will still be doing...